there welcome to my channel today we're going to do something called this how to answer anatomy live of a bpt exams bpt exams please it holds good for any university hmm? okay well, maybe i i'm speaking from uh, for the ex exams to be conducted in Rajiv Gandhi university of health sciences karnataka but bpt exams anatomy holds good in almost all the universities do watch my channel and, uh, uh, and press the link if you are happy with my channel do press the link and um, do subscribe to my channel it's in i've got lots of bpd videos let's start most important information the anatomy is the most important subject for physiotherapist yes you have physiology yes you have biomechanics yes you have other subjects also mind you this subject anatomy please open don't take it from me open your uh, syllabus copy and you can see anatomy has combined both theory and practicals more hours compared to even your biomechanics that's unbelievable believe it i'm sorry it's given more you know there must be a lot of think tank uh, from the uh, physiotherapist panel board who have given more hours of anatomy so concentrate on this subject it's very critical for you and this subject will meet you in second year you have your electro therapy coming up subjects pt cardio pt neuro till fourth year including your mpts and other diplomas it holds good so anatomy subject don't tend to sell your textbooks to your juniors when you go to second year they will always be important including your skeleton set bones you are aware when the anatomy teacher finishes off the joints immediately the biomechanics uh, professor or teacher will be taking to you about the you know biomechanics of that particular joint if i have the if a shoulder joint is taken so biomechanics is taken immediately next so anatomy if you're asking anyone this is the most critical and the most vital subject so the most important subject and perhaps you must have seen your timetable of your college and the university the first paper is anatomy Okay, for, but for physiotherapists, it should be BPT, right? I mean, it should be the biomechanics paper. It is anatomy. So the south is. Like I said, exam format. We have gross spotters here, 10 for one marks or five for two marks. Gross spotters, I will tell you what about it later on. This is the format. We have got the histology spotters, five for two marks. It will be five uh, microscopes with the slides, both systemic and general will be kept for two marks. And about the diaphragm discussion and below the diaphragm discussion, this also I will teach you when I go inside, I mean the next uh, slide, and the grand finale, that viva. So this is how the format is, the grass spatters, but certainly it's 40 marks. So it's, uh, there it is for 10 marks, uh, histology is for 10 marks, 20. Above the diaphragm, 10 marks, and below the diaphragm, 10 marks. So it's 40 plus your internal marks, 10. So you need to, you are attempting for 40 plus already given by the college 10 marks internal assessment. Here, this is the format in Karnataka. I think so. It will be plus or minus even in your cities if you are seeing this video from. Next thing is Viva. In Karnataka, the students write for 100 marks paper theory, university paper. They'll have 20 marks of their internal assessment, which they wrote in the college for their academic year and 30 for viva so i want you to concentrate on viva more than anything else let's start the spotter sits very easy it's very very easy it will be five to ten spotters depending upon your college and institution and university identify the given spotters and add few points for example spotter number one is liver identify what organ is that that is you're going to write liver the slide number one sorry the spotter number one shows liver and write some relevant points if it's like in uh, having right uh, lobe and a left lobe and ligaments you know just mention it here and if it is a bone cap remember always the most critical thing that is the side determination I will leave a link below in my description box about my video which is very popular among physiotherapy students how to you know differentiate between right and left side all the bones under 11 minutes it has more than 1100 views in just in a few months i would request you to see that video and also i have a very famous um, yes i will say it's famous uh, videos on how to guess the anatomy question paper for bpd students divided in part one part two and part three formats i will leave the link below you can see that click on it i mean it'll help you please i am not in i know this job but reverse i'm talking about 11 12 years of experience in teaching this and i know the students are bored off with long 30 40 minutes video 
I'll make it very small and uh, easy for you to understand. Don't blunder in the spotters. Don't talk to us, your mates. Remember your classmates also giving the examination, okay? So just write about it. If you don't know the points, at least write the spotter what it is. And then the, if you're going to the histology section, don't change the focus of the slides, given slides. Okay, that's very important. Don't do that. If you do that, the next person who is following you, okay, will blunder there. So spotters are very easy. You're gonna score at least out of 20, they'll almost pass you in this. About 20, most of you will get around 10 to 12, or very good 18, 20. Discussion, this is very critical. I will call it critical because this is the first time here the above the diaphragm and below the diaphragm will be given certain topics. For example, if a student number one, like you, will be asked to stand in a particular table, an anatomy table, and there will be a shoulder joint kept for you, as well as a uh, tibia or a femur or even a knee joint specimen will be kept for you, a dry specimen. Okay, so what examiner, this is the most important thing because this is the first time you're going to come face to face with the examiners, be it external and internal. Internal will be from your college, he knows you from the full academic year, he will tend to be not that much, but external examiner has got 15 marks for giving the viva. So he, this is your first chance to impress him. Okay, because about 10 20 minutes from now, he'll call you for viva. So he will have a short memory of you if you have done the, for example, you've got the above the diaphragm discussion topic that is shoulder joint, and that comes under the excellent examiner. And you, you know about the topic, please answer everything. He says, What's your topic? So, good morning, my topic is shoulder joint. Start, start, you got it right. So, you're gonna start with the shoulder joint, like what type of joint it is, what are the ligaments associated with that. Okay, talk about fibrous capsules, muscles and movement. Don't allow him. Remember, if the examiner asks you more questions, you are in trouble. Don't ask, just you should impress him such a way that he should just write the marks and go to the next table. This is your important criteria. Yes, you didn't get your topic choice. That is, we cannot help out that. And saying if students didn't know uh, even about, um, you know, about the diaphragm, the most beautiful topic, uh, I think so, the specimens will be kept is the nervous system in neuroanatomy, uh, the shoulder joint, elbow joint, wrist, brachial plexus, axillary artery, heart, lungs, okay? These are the, you know, the favorite uh, hot shots. This is one you're gonna get for the, about the diaphragm. And if your topic is below the diaphragm, please, please don't, um, here will be hip joint, knee joint, ankle, uh, any liver, stomach, bed of stomach, inguinal organs, inguinal canal, femoral triangle, popliteal fossa. Oops, I forgot the, in the upper limb, you can even get the cubital fossa. So these are the, you know, the big, big things. Always learn and go it. Answer the osteology and muscle anatomy. For example, I'm the examiner and you are the student, right? But if I see the shoulder joint, these are my questions. What type of joint it is? Next, name the ligaments. Name the movements. Show me the muscles because you're standing the specimen he will ask you to show you point out the deltoid the biceps the triceps these are the enough superficial important muscles if you are showing this he will be happy show the brachial fossa yeah show these uh, radial nerve if, if it if the specimen has radial nerve okay the cubital fossa show the contents of cubital fossa go from the uh, everything there show the division of the artery how it divides into radial and ulnar artery Okay, if it is hard, they'll ask you to show the sternocostal surface. If it's the brain, you're going to ask you the lobes of the brain. Okay, where is cerebellum? This is how it is going to. So, don't ask your mates. Please remember, the examiner is going to sit in the table and observe you people. And you are talking like them. That, you know, increases their blood pressure. And they tend to give you. He cannot slap you or do anything. He can only thing he can do is damage you. How? By giving less marks. Because you are talking. This is a strict rule of the university. If a student found is to be talking in the exam hall, just give him less marks. Don't talk to him. Don't tell him he'll fail you or something. Go in bond with your bones. Do not leave anything. You are physiotherapist for God's sake. You don't know everything about bones. I've shown you humorous here. Everything, every part and where the muscles attach to it. Discussion is a very important thing. It, I think it most carries 10 marks. You try to impress him by giving 9 marks. Ensure the external examiner or your examiner, internal examiner, college examiner stands very less time with you. Okay, so that you've got very good marks. Next, we go to the points to be noted here. Uh, I'm showing you a lower limb here, the muscles, right? Muscles and main organs are critical for viva. If you do not know sartorius in a lower limb, 
please don't even expect to be uh, get good marks. If you, if you don't know where is gluteus maximus, you don't know where is popliteal fossa, where is a popliteal artery, don't expect. What is inguinal canal? What is pectin? Because these all muscles will meet you in second year. When you're treating for patients with your second year PT subjects, they are your bread and butter. You're not going to study about the hemoglobin in your life in your clinical practice you're not going to talk about biochemistry um what is that uh, curb citric acid in your clinical practice you're going to treat the patients right so you're going to talk about the muscles and the bones so anatomy is very very important for you a physiotherapy student doesn't know the superficial arrangement of muscles if you don't know what is rectus femoris where is it what problems it can have what is tensor facial artery what is gristalis what is pectineus what are the functions of gastronomics? What is behind gastronomics? You do, you have no chance to, I mean, you, of course, your college might take money and pass you people, but remember, ask yourself, are you doing good? Sit down, study, muscles and main organs are critical for viva. Study it because anatomy and biomechanics run parallel. You have seen it right in your classes. They run parallel almost. You know, you are, you're intelligent enough to concentrate which subject for, uh, to, for you to concentrate and you're going to do MPT obviously and you have musculoskeletal therapy I mean many many subjects where anatomy is a part and parcel of it next if you are holding a discussion topic if the examiner asks you uh, comes towards you hold the organs or bones in anatomical position it's the most important step okay you're holding the liver ulta obviously inverted bound the brain you're holding like you know you're inviting problems please see the right slide here if you're holding the brain from the base you're inviting more questions you know examiner will ask you immediately you're showing the examiner see ask me more tough questions about midbrain about the basal ganglia about the internal capsules make it simple hold this like cerebral hemisphere the easy ones here frontal lobe central sulcus you know he was gonna not ask you University says ask in the discussion four to five minutes time with each student. He's gonna not stand one hour two hours with you and can you don't invite trouble by keeping organs in an improper way. As again I repeat, the bones uh, all in a proper how to differentiate between right and left. And again the link below. Please click it and uh, try to answer this. Okay. Next is the last one, the viva, the critical of the criticals. For example, this I want you to concentrate. I hope I'm not fast. What happens is you're going to go to the table. Remember one thing, before you, your friend, the so-called friend who comes out, the first question you're going to ask him, yaar, kaisa yaar viva? how is the viva man? He will tell you obviously, obviously 98% the wrong thing. My God, he's asking more about femur. In the exam, I never asked you about femur to him. He likes to confuse you because it's natural professional rivalry among students. I want to be good. Even your best friend is going to stab you back. There's no harm losing. Don't ask him. You do it. You're going to go to the table. Relax. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Sit down. Don't see that professionalism something like that. Just sit down there and ask. The first thing he'll ask you, pick the bone. This is your, this is your candy. Okay. Pick the bone means immediately pick up the bone which is easy for you. For example, if femur is kept, tibia is kept there, humerus is kept, fibula is kept, or our pelvic bone is kept, scapula is kept. You pick up which you know it very well and immediately do an, you know, do an sort of an acting as such, a play role, do an acting such that you're keeping the bone in a proper position and holding the bone in the right hand if it's a right scapula. Take time. So you here, you have skipped the question. The examiner is going to ask you, uh, not going to ask you which side it is because you're holding correctly. So he's happy with you. You started very well. So remember, examiners tend to put the first gear. That means he'll ask you about the bone. There are some idiots who come and ask you to pick up the femur. They'll pick up humerus and they say this is femur. So finish. Okay, the first gear they have filled. No need to put second gear for them. Second gear means if you're holding the bone correct and if you pass the first gear by holding proper side, they'll ask you, Name the parts of this humerus. Answer properly. Start from the, you know, the beautiful discussion, how it is. It has three parts and up distal. Okay. Then ex explain proximal part. What is the shaft? Where is the deltoid tuberosity? Simply go. Simply go in an order. Don't tell first a distal, then go to mesial. No, not like that. So come from the top, go to the down. Tell the bones, sir, the head of the femur, sorry, head of the humerus articulates with the 
adrenal cavity of the scapula to form shoulder joint then go, go down what joints are formed he is happy with the second gear he will ask you about muscles reply the muscles he'll ask you the next the blood supply the nerve supply of each particular what is pronation what is supination what is about name the movements if you are a hap third gear what is his gear business marks improving the more time you sit here you're doing very well okay so the fourth gear is given put for the examiner puts the fourth gear like after this topic he knows that you are very well versed in the um, muscles anatomy about that he'll ask you about neuroanatomy cardiac anatomy and some of the hidden questions such as what is the applied aspects of internal capsule you answer everything god's gonna help you remember your mom and dad are praying for you the day when you went for viva your aim is give best presentation don't make face don't give that laugh nobody's interested in your laughs don't say i don't know sir i didn't study i had a fever i had corona i had all those things nobody's gonna believe you for that you have come for viva hail and healthy answer it answer give your best presentation don't be tensed don't give that fake things or i'm tense i've never given a viva before please pass me all this is like you know you're bribing the examiner don't do that it's not acceptable these the persons who are sitting opposite to you the examiners are doctors they are not your enemies to fail you they have come to pass you and then i'm going to sit for you for a two hours or three hours and ask you everything from head and neck to the ankle joint no they're not going to do that they see your superficial good then they go to the uh, deep then they go to the deepest they're happy they're gonna your aim is when you're coming out of the exam hall you don't get 30 out of 30 in viva or max 28 now if you had some issues with your internal examiner you bunked his classes you did something bad that is not covered in this video okay that's none of my business i hope you have understood my um video do subscribe and share and uh, thanks a lot yes oh, sorry i just forgot something very important exactly just this is the same thing which i didn't move this slide okay this is the same thing give your best avatar on this day okay start with the first gear that's how examiners don't plead don't make faces don't argue with the examiner this is very important about the degeneration students like you you argue what is this so this is humorous no this is not humorous yes this is humorous you are showing you are you know sometimes there's something called as mind loss translation which happens for students don't do that give your best out that's it okay thank you very much just subscribe and um, share this video if you have liked and uh, it's a request to you for you to subscribe and uh, share my channel thanks a lot i have tend to help you it's completely on my i have anytime anybody have any questions to ask just do email me on my personal email account okay it improves us to uh, make more better videos thank you take care bye bye